Well, buongiorno from Venezia, the floating city here in Italy. So as you can hear, I'm pretty excited to be here. It's absolutely magnificent. So quick look around. I'll, I'll give you a quick hi first. You'll see why I've got the camera pointed the other way in a second. But <laughs> out and about for my morning walk. It's a, it's a beautiful day today and uh, it's the, the, per the most ideal day to be, explaining, to be explaining to you about resilience in three. So bear with me. So let me show you where we are. Check this out. It's a good running track actually, lots of people out here. So I've chosen this little posse because it means I can give you a little bit of an inside view. Just around the corner from where I'm staying. Where Chris and I, or Chris has found us a beautiful little apartment here. But I thought you might want to just check out part of what we've been looking at the last few days. And this is rather fitting in terms of resilience because we've been doing a lot of walking up and down these streets, ca catching the occasional water bus, which is rather cool. Um, but resilience and resilience in three, that's a big claim to make. <laughs> what has me do that? Well, um, resilience in our bodies is all about our ability to be able to sustain um, sustain con consistent effort um, and deal with any extras that we might need to along the way but creating that s consistency and so th how we're able to do that with our muscles is when we're avoiding injury by allowing the muscles to be fully flexible, able to um, work in their full range, but also good blood supply. And with that comes good immune function, a good delivery of uh, nutrients, and also getting rid of our waste products. I'll keep you able to have a little look around as I'm talking. So it's a we can actually do this within three minutes by working specifically on what we call a little brain in the muscle, which is called the muscle spindle. So sometimes, you know, I've even done it. I'll sit there and hang on a muscle to stretch it, but nothing's really changed even after five or ten minutes of holding it. So three to five minutes of very specific work to specifically uh, release off the muscle spindle is a lot more effective. So I'm curious to hear, first of all, if you've come across working directly on these muscle spindles with a muscle energy technique, as we call it, but also what your results have been with it, if you have. So let us look at a stretch specifically, and this will make more sense as to the reason <laughs> that I am um, going to be showing you um, this particular technique. Um, on my calf is because I've been walking around a lot and this is the reason I've got the cam I'll be pointing the camera down here so let's take a look at my calf muscle let's make sure we can get that in here we go to get this around the right way here we go I'll work it out right there we go so we all know the stretch where we let our our and our um, heel go down below the level of the step. Allow that stretch. So we're just going to do that for three to five seconds, just as we normally, ordinarily would do, and then we're going to activate. So pushing down with our toe and breathing in. One, two, three. And then, uh, that's just supposed to be a slow three, by the way. <laughs> and then we stretch it for three. And as we stretch, it's good to breathe out. One, two. And then we're going to repeat that twice more, pushing down with our toe. One, two, three, four, five. And then breathing out for five. One, two, three. And letting that stretch. Three, four, five. And one last time. You actually feel it's more progressive every time you do it, pushing down with our toe. And then letting it release off as I let my heel down. And we'll always repeat that both sides. So this. I'll, I'll, um, I'll carry on walking now, now that we've done our stretch. This is such an incredibly, I, say, um, I don't use that word lightly, incredible, but when we use this on our major muscle groups, the difference it can make is um, significant. So those would be our gastrocnemius, so our calf, our quadriceps, the big muscles at the front of our thighs, our hamstrings, um, around in our butt, so our piriformis, our gluteus maximus, our latissimus, the big muscles up around the, our, um, the sides of our backs um, and the main part of our backs and our necks, so our tra trapezius muscles. And the difference can be significant. 
So I'd love to hear how you get on with that, not only with tight muscle muscles that just feel uncomfortable, but like I say, helping to, oh, Piazza St. Marco in the distance there, mar being marked by the amazing tower. The difference uh, can be significant in terms of how um, our body feels, but also how we tend to be able to deal with injury and um, improve our results when it comes to a day-to-day -day living, but also if we're got some kind of event on so always love hearing from you and looking forward to seeing you on alive with fee and um, this week and it does pay to get up and about early here because within a few hours these streets are going to be full of people ciao for now